Hello, I'm Stephen Ely, expert. In addition to hosting Escape Pod, a popular science fiction podcast, I have PhDs in psychology, parapsychology, phrenology, pathology, pharmacology, eschatology, topology, tautology, and spelunking. I'm therefore more than qualified to tell you what you think. I'm grateful for this opportunity to review this specimen of Mr. Hutchins's oeuvre, this personal effects dark art. It was presented to me, perhaps jokingly, as a work of fiction, a light-hearted bit of whimsy. Oh my, here is an asylum, here is a dark man, and here are murders. Isn't that funny, Mr. Ely? There shall be blood, and merriment, and whimsical drawings of souls in torment. I cannot deny that it contains all those things. And yet, I was misled. This is not a work of fiction. This is a cry for help. I believe if we look beneath the surface of this piece of art, and into the repressed messages of the id that Mr. Hutchins let slip within these, oh, let's call them words, if we take the time to see our dear J.C. in this bit of mischief, it is clear to me that we see a f***ed up dude. His subconscious screams with dissociative disorder, delusional disorder, histrionic personality disorder, multiple personality disorder, disorderly personality disorder, disorderly conduct disorder, Tourette syndrome, inhalant addiction, jaywalking, and probable fruit fetishism. In the DSM-4, Mr. Hutchins is officially classed in Section 338.4, quote, bat crazy, unquote. It is my expert opinion, therefore, that you should buy this novel. In fact, you must buy this novel. A man as dangerously insane as Mr. Hutchins must be reined in, controlled. For the good of all society, we must keep him at a keyboard, typing these, yes, I would call them sentences. For if he does not have this outlet, he will, I assure you, let loose his inner batch upon us all. Millions would suffer. The streets would flow red with blood, and his end, poor Mr. Hutchins, his end could only be death, incarceration, or the United States Senate. So I prescribe to you, have mercy on him, and defend yourself, for the good of us all, by personal effects, dark art. In fact, having done so, you might even consider reading it. No, wait, that's crazy talk.